in the world when I'm walking out with you. Up in the world is the feeling I get even talking about you. I pray I made a good impression. You're my obsession forever. Let our hearts take flight together up in the world. Well, I've been in touch with Harper. The window cleaner at Bandeville Park's had an accident, as arranged. Good. Mick says Lady Bandeville will cough up 50,000. Just like that. She'll cough up as much as we asked to get her precious little boy back. We ain't got him yet. Have we seen Shell? I had a look at the place. Guarded like a rally prison. Impossible to get him without a pass. Oh, it's the new window cleaner we'll get. That job comes up at Tidmarsh Labour Exchange in the morning. Hey, who's going after that? You are. But suppose that somebody beats me to it. Don't let someone beat you to it. Job. Who said so? I did. Uh, who wants a job anyway? What's this queue for? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, yeah? Ha, <laughs> 
Thanks for keeping my place warm. You can have yours back now. Oh, no, no. Who you pushing and shoving? You won't make me so wild. Oh. All right, come on. Hey! hey. So you couldn't even get yourself employed as a window cleaner? I was double cross, Mick. But if ever I get my hands on that little... All right, all right, forget it. What happens now? So another window cleaner meets with an accident at Banderville Park. Come in. Morning. They sent me here. You've been sent here by the Labour Exchange? Yeah. Oh, window cleaner for Banderville Park, eh? Yeah. Last job? Um, what, to do with windows? Yeah. Reason for leaving? Um, resigned. Yeah. Yeah, well, I handle security for Lady Vanderville. Every member of her staff has to be vetted by me. You see, Lady Vanderville has a sort of obsession that her son, the little Sir Reginald, is going to be kidnapped. Oh, well, I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't better try. The last one I did, still in prison. You got a photograph of yourself? What for? For your past, did you? You'll need one to get in and out of Banderville Park. Well, I haven't got one. Well, we'll leave that for the moment. What are you doing? I've got to take your fingerprints and put them on the pass. Oh. Uh, now do your four fingers. No, no. I mean the four fingers of each hand. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Um, you don't understand, do you? Look, that's the forefinger, the index finger. Stick that on. Isn't it marvellous? Huh. Give me your hand. Put your finger on the pad. On the pad. Uh, that's right. <laughs> now press it on the card. <laughs> yeah. Well, that will do very nicely. Very well, here we go. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, 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 uh, uh, um, I have... Ooh, ooh. Should have been here at nine o'clock this morning. Why? What happened? Where's your pass? Uh, 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 I'm not getting caught with that again. Admit him. Jump to it. All right, men. Dismissed. <laughs> Report to my office forthwith. 
Who's that on the horse? That's Major Willoughby, the estate manager. Oh. Where's his office, then? Along the drive. Oh, very far. About three miles. What time's the next bus, then? <laughs> Good afternoon, Jeannie. Good afternoon, Tom. Wasn't that your ladyship? Aye, it was. Oh, I know you well enough to know. Thank you. Bye. Who's that dreadful looking man, Simon? The normal lady. Drive on, fast. Did it hurt? Did it hurt? Can't catch me. I'll give you did it hurt. I'll give you. Afternoon, Miss. Look, Ever, you're doing. Oh, well, I'm just hanging around. Oh, admiring the view. Well, yeah, yeah. It swept me off my feet. Well, I won't disturb you. No, no, don't go, no, because I'm stuck up here and I can't get down. Who are you? I'm Norman, the new window cleaner. Some little boy. I, I can rush... guess. Well, you better see what I can do. Yeah, well, if you could give me a bit of a push up, you know, I could, you know, I could get my oh. feet loose with the fluid. Oh, 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 you all right? Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. 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 oh, you better get my hands on that little devil. Oh, I suppose you know who that little devil is. No, who? It's a Reginald. So he's Sir Reginald? Yes. <laughs> well, he ought to be kidnapped. Oh, he's not so bad, really. I hope Harold's all right. Harold? Yeah. Oh, whatever's that? Oh, darling, he won't hurt you. Don't be frightened. He's Harold, my hamster. He's oh, a darling. He's nice, isn't he? He's my mate. Taking quite a fancy to you. Well, well, I think we'd better get up to the house. Well, I, I'd better leave it here. Well, you've been very kind. Thank you. Hope I can see you again. Well, most likely I'm in the staff too. Oh, well, what's your name? Jeannie. Well, you better hurry because the major doesn't like being kept waiting. Oh, well, I'm not afraid of the major. Well, good luck with your windows. Give them a good spit and polish. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to need an awful lot of spit, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Come in. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Just call me Norman. Stand to attention when you address me. Thumbs in line with the seam of the trousers. Attention. That's better. Now, you may or may not be aware that Lady Banderville has a son. I'm aware of it, all right. A fine boy. The apple of his mother's eye. And remember this. Sir Reginald is always right. What, even if he shoots me in the... Sir Reginald is always right. Now, with regard to your duties. The ladder house and the equipment therein from now on is entirely your responsibility. Ladders must at all times be kept locked away. Not only with a view of keeping intruders out, but also with a view of keeping Sir Reginald in. Follow my example and Sir Reginald will respect you, just as he respects me. Now, you want the key to the ladder house. 
Sir Reginald is always right. Right! Across the lawn, keep it to the path, the ladder house is in front of the trees. Right! Yes, my lady. Sir Reginald has decided to make next Saturday Bandeville's first football match of the season. Yes, your ladyship. I think that is a splendid idea. Hey! Hey, Major! Hey, Major! Hey! Will you excuse me just a moment, your ladyship? Thank you. Hey, Major! Shh! What is it? Look, there's all in this bucket, and I should need a new leather. Look, this has got a great hole in it, you know. Yes, yes, we'll attend to all that in the morning. Will you stop shouting and go away? And keep off the grass! Oh! Uh, yes, your ladyship. Hey! Yes, your ladyship. Oh, yes, indeed. Will you just forgive me once more, Your Ladyship? Thank you so much. Hey! Hey, what about the water? Where's the tap? It's at the back of the ladder house. And stop shouting! Oh, God. And keep off the grass! She's gone. I'm still here. Are you? Hello. Hello. Yes, your ladyship. First right, first left? No, first left, first right. Uh, round there. Oh, oh, thanks, sir. <laughs> Don't mention it. Oh, Morris, Lady Banderville not playing bridge this afternoon? Oh, yes, rather, Colonel. But she says, a teeny we need it late. So I'm holding court myself until she comes down. Hello, Lord. I was looking forward to a game. Ah, oh, my dear Colonel. Very good player you are. Very nice of you to see, so, dear boy. Yes, Hello. Oh, good afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, you are... Uh... Norman. Oh, yes, of course. How do you do? <laughs> How do you do? Only because I've been told to make myself a do eh? Oh, do, my dear boy. Mingle. Mm. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Mingle. <laughs> See you later, then. And, of course, you. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> right. Let's get started, eh? I'm Norman. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, I'm going to like it here. Look at all this lot. <laughs> it is nice, isn't it? But it always is here. Yeah? Don't you have none? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> hey, I'll get this down here. But don't you think we should Oh, come on. It's nearly half past four. Go on, you have one. Have another one each. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jam roll. Sorry. Bit of a scramble, isn't it? What's happening? Are you hungry? Oh, I haven't no dinner yet. Now, I don't care if I go off bang. <laughs> 
Here, you hand these round. Because that's your job, isn't it? I'll bet you. I'll bet you. And you're dressed up to kill. It's your afternoon off. Now, don't tell me. I'll tell you. You're cookie. Cookie? I've never been called cookie in my life. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell. I can guess a lot of you. Good old Ern. <laughs> Ern. <laughs> You'll get used to me. <laughs> Rather odd behaviour, don't you think? Very. Lack of breeding, I should say. So, we meet again. Have a cake. Oh, thank you. You yep. get your own. Here, this is favourite, I'll tell you. Once the rush starts, these are going to go like hot cakes. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, how very kind. He's livening up a bit in here, doesn't it? You play the piano? As a matter of fact, I do. A little. You don't? Yes, I do. Well, why didn't you say so? Here, hold this. Now, listen, everyone. Listen, listen! Hey! <laughs> What's your first name? Uh, Morris. Yeah. Well, oh, Morris, you're going to play the piano for us. And you? Well, if you insist. Well, of course we insist, don't we? Come on, give him a big hand. Look, he's got the wind up. Come on. Oh, go in now. Go on. Go on then. That's it. No, 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 no. What is it? Beat it up. Whisk it. Give it the old in the groove stuff. It's a day. Oh, come on then. Go on. Come on. Hit it. Damn by. Come on, everybody. Friendly for yourselves. <laughs> intimate terms a lady band of it <laughs> she's my mistress Norman. We've met. Where? When? I saw your guest appearance at Lady Bandeville's tea party. Yeah, I can't do this. I'm Norman. New window cleaner. Good, I got a job for you. Yeah, but I don't want... Come sit down. You'll have to sit a bit nearer if you're going to hold it for me. Do you think you're going to like it here? Well, it's not very friendly, is it? We'll have to change that, won't we? Yeah. Oh, answer it, can you? Hello? Mr. Alpha. A Mr. Alpha wanted. Yes, that's me. You want it on the phone? I can see that, idiot. Thanks. Sorry. Yeah. 
Oh, oh. no, listen, wait a minute. Don't be ridiculous. Now, wait a minute. Now, woman, now keep calm. Stephen, let's get it off our feet. Let me get me put out. 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 Let me get me put Sorry, you could use it for mending socks. Oh, Norman. Busy? Yes, very. Thank you for helping me. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting, boss, but I was tied up. Max slipped up over getting the window cleaning job. It's up to you to see that the situation becomes vacant again. It'll be a pleasure, boss. Don't worry. It's as good as done. Good morning. Oh, morning, Sir Reginald. To the right. Back a bit. Forward. Back. Back! Now, straight back. Keep going. That's it. <laughs> Where has that boy got to? He needs a downside more discipline. Should be sent away to school. How about Eden next half? Amongst all those awful ruffians. Oh, no. Make a man of him. But he's far too sensitive. He needs a mother's guiding hand. He needs an uncle's guided foot. Trouble is, the wrong uncle's got hold of him. Morris is a very good tutor. Oh, thank you, Sybil. Morning, uncles. And about time, too. Out of business. May I take the minutes of the last meeting as read and approved? Those in favour? Those in favour, Morris? Oh, yes, of course. Very well. Now we come to the financial statement of the past year. The assets of the trust amount to £17,008,427. You can put your hand down now, Sybil. And this represents an increase over the last 12 months of 4,500,000. It's nice to know that the dear boy will be fairly comfortably off. Any further comments? That's all very well, Morris. I am sick and tired of all this nonsense. Reginald is hopelessly spoiled and is going to be the ruin of him. Protecting him is one thing, Sybil, but you're turning him into a perfect fool. You're dreadfully hard and unkind, Fletcher. Now you're talking rubbish. If you had any sense at all, you'd know it for yourself. Oh, but really, he seems to be getting on so nicely. That's all very well, Morris. But as I've already said to Sybil, I maintain the sooner oh, Reginald... That's that horrible-looking man again. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Sybil. But he looks like a kidnapper trying to break in. Everyone looks like a kidnapper to you. It's the new window cleaner, my lady. <laughs> for heaven's sake, Morris, tell him to go away. Now, as I was trying to say, don't laugh at me. Oh, I'm a fool. Oh, 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 Outside, back to your work. Oh, 
Oh, no, you don't, Sybil. <laughs> oh, we might as well close the session. The best one we've ever had. Norman, hello. Jeannie. How are you getting on? Uh, well, I think I made an impression. Oh, good. Well, I'll see you later, then. Norman. Yes, Jeannie? Would you like to come down to the fair in the village this evening? What do you mean, with you? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, please. At six, then. Fine. Norman. Yes, Deanie? Be careful. Oh, oh, you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> I'm as safe as ours is on ladders. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh! Oh! You wanted to see me, sir? See you? You're fired! Get out! Get out! Now, Errol, what do you think of this? Dear Jeannie, this is to say goodbye. I dropped in to see the Major, and he gave me the sack. Ever so sorry about not seeing you this evening. Don't suppose we'll ever meet again. Yours truly, Norman. P.S. I think you are wonderful. Ah, uh, yes. Two weeks' wages in lieu of notice. That's what I want. Less PAYE, national insurance, and deductions for breakages. Breakages? Breakages. Well, let's have it, then. Leaving one and fourpence. Cool. No. I've got a letter here from Miss Jeannie Andrews. See that she gets it, will you, please? And you can keep the boat for yourself. Thank you. Come on, Adam. Let's get out of here before we get searched. Well, you ought to know. Get him in the sack like that. The sack? What do you mean? Saw him through my ladder. But I didn't, really, I didn't. <laughs> the last one you sent was quite useless. Oh, excuse me, Sir Reginald? You sacked Norman. That is correct. I had occasion to do so. Well, I'm giving you the occasion to take him on again. Yes, Sir Reginald. Hey, you! Report back to my office forthwith! Yeah, well, can't you tell me now? 
My goodness me, the fates have been kind. Do you really mean I haven't got the sack? Yes, 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 precisely. Yeah, I can't believe it. Against my better judgment, I've decided to give you one more chance. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, what about the letter, though? And the dog? The shilling you can have back, but the letter has already reached the young person. Oh. <laughs> I'll get the key to the ladder out. <laughs> Thank you, Major. And off we go again. <laughs> Jeannie! Now then! But I thought you got the sack. Oh, I've been taken on again. Oh, I am glad. Really? Mmm. Come here. Thank you for your letter. Oh, well, uh, wouldn't have written it in the fat mound. Silly, wasn't it? Well, I thought it was rather nice. What about that bit at the end? I mean, right at the end. Well, I thought that was rather nice, too. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't have dared, you know, if I'd... Well, well, I know what you mean. <laughs> I used to be scared of affection, but now I'm not. I used to go cold at its mention, but now I go hot. I used to run a mile if a girl even began to smile. But I'm not afraid any longer One smile from you and my love grows stronger I've a feeling of being so up in the world When I'm walking out with you up in the world is the feeling I get even talking about you. I confess that I tremble at your touch, my dear. It's cause you're here so near. If you'd say yes, then my eager lips would press one kiss that means so much to me, my plea is to be tied to the strings of your heart, make me feel that I'm someone really new, don't Cut me loose or my life falls apart And I'm no one without you I pray I've made a good impression You're my obsession forever Let our hearts take flight together Up in the Here you. Hey. You should have got a different card. Yeah? You say sir to me. <laughs> They've all got titles here, haven't they? You'll be needed to play in the first football match of the season this afternoon. Good. Sir Reginald captains the outdoor staff, and they always win. You understand? Always. Oh, well, I should do my best. Are you any good? 
No, no, not really, no. Oh, fine. Well, you'd better play for the indoor staff against Sir Reginald, who always wins. May the better side win. Oh, skip it. We were going to play this way anyway. Very good, Sir Reginald. That dangerous little man is playing. Of course, you've got the spare ball in here, haven't you? <laughs> good luck, Norman. Come here. Now listen. I insist on scoring, all right? Well done, Reggie. Shoot. What are you talking about offside? I bought it right to myself. Free kick. Now get out of it. You were offside. Have you gone raving mad? Have you gone raving mad? Let's get on with the game. Yes, indeed, my lady. Yes, indeed, my lady. Her ladyship won't be pleased. She won't indeed. Pass the ball to Sir Reginald. Oh, Reginald. Reginald. It's awfully good, you know, Reginald. Let Sir Reginald have it, my boy. Pleasure. Hey! Oh, oh. 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 I meant the ball. Foul, free kick. No. Oh. Hello? But put him in, girl. He's not big enough. Not Sir Reginald, you. Come along, get the jersey on. Up the double. Come on, show them, Norman. Show them, Norman. Come on. Well done, Norman. You're doing fine. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. Stop the 
game. Oh, nonsense. No, I'll play on. Oh, he's so brave. I'm sorry, my lady. Mm. Oh. How dare you? Come on. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie. Oh, well played, Norman. He moved. What do you expect me to do? Stand still and say you move. Oh. No, this is too much. Oh, oh, my God. Get back. Hey, now, now, play the game. Ah, oh, that is marvellous. to get that little blighter a dose of his own medicine. you better go to bed for the rest of the day. You'd be working today. Oh, well, I feel fine. Oh! Oh! Oh, dear, is it hurt? No, I feel right. Norman? Hmm? There's a dance on in the village tonight. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, um, could I take you to it then? Oh, that's what I was hoping. Yes. Oh, uh, uh, well, I'll meet you on the terrace. About half past six. Hey? <laughs> Hi, Norman. Yes, Sir Reginald. Come up here. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Sir Reginald. Come on in. Relax. Yes, Sir Reginald. I'll skip the title. Come here, show you a trick. See this empty box? Yeah. Say the magic words, us guz goozle em. <laughs> No, honestly. Us guz goozle em. Hey, presto. Hey, where'd you get all this? Saved it out of my pocket money. Big pocket? Not bad, though. Wish I could count you like the great de Milo. He's on in London. Oh, yeah. The white cockatoo. Great dear mine. I've seen him before. You can have all this if you'll take me to see him. There's more. No, not me. Now, you better get somebody else. I'm going back to work. You might as well clean my windows whilst you're about it. The outside. Oh, well, I don't mind doing that. Watch you. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't laugh about it. You... Swear to take me up to London. I certainly will not get out of it, though. Now, don't mess about. I can't. What are you doing? Oh, no. Are you going to take me? I certainly will not. We'll see about that. <laughs> I will not. No, I'm not taking this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Indeed, it is work.
going to take me out to London. Oh, yes, all right. Well, now put a ladder up against this window at dusk tonight. Yeah, anything you say. Yeah, no, no, not tonight, no, because I promised... Tonight? <laughs> tonight! All right, all right. All right. Good. <laughs> Jeannie? Certainly not. Up no, Norman. No. Nice day, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, switch on the TV, will you? Yeah, all right then. Now you've done it. What? And what was that? The television set. I told him not to mess about with it. You? Silence. I know a fellow who can fix it up right away for you, sir. Shall I telephone him? Yes, do that, Harper. I'll tell the gatekeeper to expect him. The cost of repairs will be deducted from your wages. What is that? As a matter of fact, it's a pajama case for Reginald. It's rather pretty, don't you think? Where is he, Sybil? Gone to bed. Already? Yes, yawning his head off all the evening. Oh, dear. I do hope he's not sickening for anything. No, just sickening. Really, Fletcher, you're not fair to the dear boy. Oh, such an impressive evening. I think I'll turn myself in. Must catch up on my beauty sleep. Yes, you need to. Really, Fletcher. Good night. Good night. Good night, dear Sybil. Good night, dear. Tiptoe past Reggie's room. We don't want to disturb him. I will. Quiet as a mouse, thinks me. Sweet mouse dreams. Who is it? Express TV repairs. How many of you in the van? Only me. All right, drop inside the gate. OK. Get down, quickly. Right, carry on. Well, we're in. Right on the dot. Harper should be pinching that ladder now. Sir Reginald? Yes, just call me Reggie for tonight. Don't make it so Reggie, eh? No, just Reggie. Okay, Reggie. Look out, there's a van coming. Oh, well, minute, better put the ladder. Shove it over there. by the boys' room. Look, there's a light on up there. We shall have to wait a bit. Close the door. Besides, it would look funny if Mother went out in any other one. But Lady Bannifer won't be in it. Oh, won't she? Ah. We'll give him five minutes. Not bad. Think so? In you get, Mother. Yeah. Well, uh, come on, let's get a move on. 
Press on. Yes. No news yet, Lady Vanderville, but the arm of the law is reaching out. I always knew this would happen. But why didn't they take Morris too? Not that I mind, of course. Probably surprised them at their dirty work. No alternative. None of this would have happened, Sybil, if you'd sent the boy to eat. And what is it, Major? A member of the staff is missing. Norman, the window cleaner. The window... Oh, oh what does I tell oh. you? Ah, an inside job, eh? That's the man, Inspector. Yes. But thug, if ever I saw one. Oh, where will they have taken my poor little wretched? Obviously, it is some quiet hideout. Talent! We say it's talent! Talent is what the public want! Ooh. We don't think that it's too bigger for a girl to show her figure while the fellow's eyes get bigger all the time! They don't come to see our faces, they just come to find some traces of the old familiar places down the line! And they find talent! What else but talent? Talent is what the public wants. Who? Competition, we can fight it. We don't need Shakespeare to write it. We just do it as you like it every night. So we may not be ambitious, and we'll grant us all our wishes. For as long as we're delicious, they will bite. Okay, Mick. Nice work, boys. Good. There's been a radio alert. The boys have been missed already. The whole thing's been a piece of cake. Cake? This is going to keep me a mink for a very long time. Okay, let's take a look at him. What the... You bird brains. You got the wrong one. Wrong one? Does that look like a boy of 14? Well, perhaps he's prematurely aged. Cut out a wise crap. Well, couldn't we collect a ransom on him? More likely they're glad to be rid of it. That's the one you should have got. Someone else has got him. Someone's pulled a fast one on us. Well, what shall we do with this? Oh, dump it. I gotta think. Dump it? Where? Anywhere but dump it! <laughs> Introducing the great De Milo, Master of Mystery. Nothing like that, not in all my life, I not never. Yes, thank you, sir, but I hardly think it was as good as all that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if I may be allowed. Now, well, we like to give credit where it's due, don't we? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may be allowed to continue without any further interruption, I would like to borrow a gentleman's watch. Will any gentleman kindly lend me their watch? Any gentleman. 
Hey, no, no, not mine, no. Oh, why not, Norman? No, well, it's about the only decent thing I have got. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> hey, give me my watch back. Come on, what's up with you? Don't worry, little man. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to take this gentleman's watch and I am going to wrap it in a very ordinary piece of paper. Now then, do you know what I'm going to do with your watch? No, sir. I'm going to place it on the table, so. And I'm going to break it up into lots and lots of little pieces. <laughs> there. Now, I suppose you think your watch is all smashed and broken. Oh, come now. Oh, get out of it. Go on, get out of it. You know very well it's all smashed up and broken. I saw you and everybody saw you. Put it on the table and you hit it as hard as you could. Well, that's just where you're wrong. See. There you are. Yeah. Now, I suppose you would like to know where your watch really is. Oh, yes, please, sir. Yes, sir. Follow me very closely. Now then, whose watch is this, eh? Whose is it? Norman's. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got my watch back. He's made me come back. Look, Reg. What a trick. Now, Norman. <laughs> I'd like you to help me in another little trick. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Take a card. Anyone? Anyone. Oh, that one. Right. Look at it and keep it. Now, madam, will you take a card, please? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, please, will you take a card? Now, madam, will you take a card, please? Thank you, sir. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I shall take this young man's watch and I shall wrap it up in this very ordinary piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you know what I'm going to do to your watch? Do you? Do you know? Well, I shall place it on this table, sir, and then I intend to smash it up into lots and lots of little tiny weeny pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I suppose you think your watch is all smashed up and broken, don't you? Uh, that's just where you're wrong, you see. There you are. <laughs> Very The boy might be in London, but where? Where? The Mizo's going very well tonight. Yeah. What's going on out there, anyway? What's going on? They've chucked out a couple of customers who've just mucked the act up, sir. Help! I protest! Call the manager! The boy! Help! Oh. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Help. Stop! Stop! Just a minute. Now, what's the matter? Uh, our apologies, sir. There's been a big mistake. Uh, the management's compliments, and if you'd please return, everything is on the house. I should think so. On the house? Come on, Brent. Cut the rest of the cabaret, get those lights down to the midnight level, and get that band going. Go on, quick! Tell Sidney and Steve to stand by. Okay. Leah Ramba. Make it 27. It's no good, no, no. Any more of that nonsense and I shall have to... Well, I'll take action. Hello, boy. You would like for me to join you, yes? Yeah? Oh, no, thank you. We would like to dance, perhaps. Oh, I can't dance. Oh, why not? Come on, it would be an experience. No, <laughs> oh, 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 oh
<laughs> come on, come on, get a move on. In three minutes' time, the lights will go out. Then get that kid. <laughs> enough now. Thank you very much. I'll go now. Not on your life, Chum. My spare time job teaching judo. Hey, hey, you let me go. Go, oh, let me go. Put me down, will you? What's the matter with you? <laughs> Yes, it's the Vanderbilt car, all right. Why cock it too? I wonder. The place is due for a raid anyhow. Officer, officer, here, come quick. There's something peculiar in my dustbin. Go and see what she wants, will you? This is the one, officer. Hello. Oh, I do think policemen are wonderful. You might as well relax, son. As soon as your mother's paid up, we'll let you go. Nobody's going to get hurt. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. I say, isn't this all smashing? We'll get the kid to sign it, and you, Sidney, can pop it down to Vanderbilt right away. Steve, keep your eyes skinned up here. Right, Mick. Someone coming. trying to kidnap us. The game's up. What do you mean the game's up? I was just trying to get him out. It's no use, boss. They got us. Better go quietly. Boss? Don't take any notice of him. I've never seen these men in my life before. Take him away. But I'll let us I tell you. If you ask the boy. Come on, we were just going to see the day Milo and have a night out. He'll need complete quiet for a few weeks. He's suffering from amnesia. Oh, how awful. What's that? Loss of memory. Doctor, how long is it likely to last? Months? Maybe years. I can never tell. Won't he even know that I'm his mother? I doubt it. You'll have to make it to him gently, Sybil. Yes. Oh. It is abundantly clear from the evidence that you were the brains behind this dastardly crime. I shall give you the maximum sentence for the offence. Twenty-five years hard labour. Is it to see you? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left turn. 
Left, right, left, right, prisoner. Halt, left, turn. You're going to have two minutes. Hello, Jimmy. Hello. I still believe in you, Norman. You're about the only one who does. If only Sir Reginald hadn't lost his memory. But he did. Don't worry, Norman, dear. I'll wait for you. If you want me to. If I want you to? Thank you, Jeannie. I'll only be 50 when I come out. Jeannie. Yes? Do me a favour. What's that? Look after her while I'm away, will you? Of course. <coughs> This is 3709935. Cheer up. First 25 years are the worst. 25 years? 25 blinking years. Blimey, a big shot. Delighted to meet you, Gov. Good, just small timers in here. Jokes. Robbery with violence. 18 years. Damon. Arson. 13 years. Williams. Assault and blackmail. Only 10 years. Oh, oh. Look, he's on the job already. Go on, show him. Finest little tunnel you've ever seen. With your help, we can get clear in another five months. Oh, no. no count me out. Up before then, gonna play a lone hand, eh? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I'll play a lone end. I should be taking over in here. Right now, whose is this bunk? That's mine. And yeah, well, from now on, it's mine. See? Well, Reginald, I think that's about enough Latin for today. Just leave me to study, Uncle. Excuse me, Sir Reginald. Your costume for the staff ball has arrived. Oh. Have you remembered anything about Norman yet? I never knew anyone called Norman. But, sir, he took you to London. I've never been to London. Oh. Poor Norman. Oh, you. Break up that bit. OK, boss. Working. Put your hat on. Working yourself to death, aren't you? Well, I'm responsible for most of the big ones. My foot. Oh! Three seven zero ninety nine three five. You're a dab hand at cleaning windows, aren't you? I've done one or two. You, you, you and you, follow me. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh. All right, get it up there. Those are the governor's quarters, see? Could not carry on breaking up stones instead. You'll do them and you'll do them nicely. 3709935. All right, get it up there. Up, 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 up. Gently. Pity the poor blag of it was going to go up there this wind. Yes. Uh... Hey, you. Pick up that bucket. Well, don't fancy it in this wind. Up you go. Well, I guess someone else to go up. Oh, no, no, don't ask me go to go up there. Go on, get up there. Oh. Prison. 
of the circus. Get on with your job. This will get you promotion. Take his name, Sergeant. Doc. Open up, pal. This is the army. What's all this in aid of? Escaped convict heading this way. Come on, hop on, young fella. Hop on. Who are you, lad? Norman. Okay, good boy. One of you chaps will have to take a bath when we get back. Meanwhile, forward! <laughs> Here for an up, my lady. Oh, certainly. Robinson, Jackson, Thomas, come with me. Son, stay here till we get back. Right out, lads, right up. Anything wrong with me? Enjoying yourself? Go on in there and have some more fun. Uh, excuse me. No! Shh. What are you doing here? I'll tell you about that later, but now I've got to find Sir Reginald. He must remember. Oh, of course. I've got an idea. Come, this way. Arrest that man. 
Taste all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> You're delightful, really. Oh, come along, enjoy yourself. This is a party. Sing with me. That's the way. Oh, yes, a pleasure. Yes? It's me. Look. Norman. I've never seen you before. Don't be afraid, Lady Vanderbilt. We'll get him. No stone will be left on top. Think hard. Try, try. Norman. The door. Quickly. Hey! Where are you leaving me? I'm sorry. Norman! 
husband! <laughs> this scoundrel kidnapped you. Kidnapped? Idiot, he was the one who tried to save me! <laughs> Thank you, yes, truly! Hey, I told you so! Oh. Oh. Started, little. <laughs> 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 